Nation News starts now with breaking news. What happened? It's being investigated as an assassination attempt. Gunshots fired at former President Trump tonight during a rally. He says one bullet hit him in the ear. This photo you're looking at taking moments after the shots rang out, showing the former president with his fist in the air, blood on his face as Secret Service agents rushed him off the stage. Good evening. Welcome to Action News at 11. I'm Josh Krupp. You've been watching the ABC News special report of this breaking news alert. That rally tonight happening in Butler, Pennsylvania, which is just north of Pittsburgh. Day Days before the start of the Republican National Convention, when the party will formally nominate Donald Trump to be their candidate in the 2024 presidential election. Secret Service agents say the gunman fired shots from an elevated position outside of the rally's perimeter. Agents returned fire and killed him. We're also learning a spectator was killed. Two others were critically injured. We're getting local and national and state reaction tonight about this shooting, but we begin with ABC's Perry Russum. He's standing by in Milwaukee with details on this investigation already underway. We're being told former President Trump is fine and safe after a terrifying shooting at one of his campaign rallies in Pennsylvania that's being investigated as a possible assassination attempt. Take a look at what happened. Tonight, new information on what's being investigated as a possible assassination attempt on former President Trump. The Secret Service says a shooter fired multiple shots toward the stage from an elevated position outside the rally venue in Butler County, Pennsylvania, north of Pittsburgh. The Secret Service says their team neutralized the shooter, who is now dead. Law enforcement sources tell ABC News the shooter fired as many as eight rounds using an AR-style rifle from a rooftop 200 to 300 yards away. Tonight, Trump releasing a statement that reads in part, I was shot with a bullet that pierced the upper part of my right ear. I knew immediately that something was wrong and that I heard a whizzing sound, shots, and immediately felt the bullet ripping through the skin. First you think like maybe firecrackers, but it continued, it continued, and then somebody yelled, get down. We got down, we got down, and we huddled, and we started praying. The shooting happening minutes into Trump's rally. Trump on stage reaching for his right ear, then apparently ducking behind the podium. Secret Service agents rushing the former president. Moments later, Trump taken to his feet with blood on his right ear. Trump waving a fist in the air as he's led off the stage surrounded by Secret Service agents. This is happening ahead of a major week for Trump with the Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. There's no place in America for this kind of violence. It's sick. It's sick. It's one of the reasons why we have to unite this country. We cannot allow for this to be happening. We cannot be like this. We cannot condone this. Perry Russell, ABC News, Milwaukee. And we just learned that President Joe Biden just recently spoke with the former president. Now we're getting reaction coming in tonight locally as well from state and local elected officials. We'll get to that in just a second. But first, I want to go over to 13 Action News reporter Lily Lowndes. Lily, you were in downtown whenever this happened and talking to people, getting their immediate reaction to this breaking news. What were they telling you? Josh, people told me the political climate has been tense for some time, but they did not expect things to go this far and for people to get hurt. Several people told me they were shocked to hear that the shots were fired at the campaign rally today. I was shocked and surprised. Um, again, you don't ever want to see that happen, but yeah, I'd be honest if I didn't say I, I thought it had been a lot sooner than it did. But yeah, definitely surprised and never a good thing. Sadly, I wasn't surprised. So I think that they've been kind of gunning after Trump for a while. They tried to go after him with uh, criminal cases, with civil cases, def defaming him. And this is kind of honestly, sadly, like their last resort is to try and stop Donald Trump. People on both sides of the political aisle told me they were saddened. In addition to Trump, people told me they were also thinking about the spectator who died today. Josh. All right, Lily, thank you. Rally goers describing the situation as traumatic. We'll hear from them in just a moment, but I want to get to some of the reaction that we're seeing from elected officials and former elected officials like the former president, Barack Obama, saying there is absolutely no place for political violence in our democracy. Ohio Governor Mike DeWine taking to social media also saying Fran and I are praying for President Trump, his family, and our country. Similar statements coming from those who are trying to 
earn elected office in the state of Ohio. Bernie Marino, who is Ohio's GOP Senate nominee, says he is an American legend. The president is, the former president is, and we need him now more than ever. Ohio's current Republican United States Senator J.D. Vance. Senator J.D. Vance, who is considered to be one of the top three finalists for the former president's running mate position. J.D. Vance could be the nation's next vice president, sending out this photo on social media that we have seen circulated widely today. J.D. Vance also saying, thank God the president is okay. Hope everyone else is safe. We'll point out that J.D. Vance, like others, have also been pointing fingers, both sides of the political aisle, saying that it's one person's fault or another that this has happened. Ohio's other U.S. Senator Sherrod Brown saying, Connie and I re are relieved, his wife, that President Trump is safe, saying we're grateful to the law enforcement who responded immediately. Political violence is completely unacceptable and has no place in our democracy. So we'll continue to monitor the local reaction and state reaction we're hearing, but we also want to continue to hear from the people who were on the ground who say this was a traumatic situation, but they say they were also encouraged to see the former president get back up and put his fist in the air. Listen to how they describe those moments. When we heard this go off, we thought it was firecrackers at first, and then somebody hollered everybody to the ground, so we're all going down to the ground, and uh, we weren't sure if uh, Trump got hit or not because the first thing we saw was all the Secret Service crowding around Trump. I'm not shocked that this happened. Um, I'm shocked that I was sitting there and it happened next to me. Obviously, you don't you never anticipate that to happen, but you know, it's 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 just horrible. I saw him stand. I saw him stick his, his fist in the air and um, to let us know that he was OK. And, uh, um, you know, that was an inspiring moment to, to see that, but still in the back of my mind, there was the thought of the individual who was shot behind us. There was the shot, of, uh, the, the thought of my wife, um, who was still on the ground, whose who's, uh, safety and well-being, of course, is my top priority, and, and um, uh, it's just a sad situation all around. I know as soon as the gunshots rang out, uh, most of us had uh, hit the ground. Um, you know, it, it was a scary situation. You know, you're, you're, uh, in a fishbowl, you know, with uh, the former president, and uh, you, you you don't know, um, you know, where the shots are coming from and who they're coming from, and uh, it was uh, it was a pretty traumatic situation, I think, for everybody. Now, this isn't the first time Secret Service had to jump in and surround Donald Trump during a rally eight years ago outside of Dayton, Ohio. The president was holding a rally there when this happened. No, it's not. <laughs> That was March 2016, while Donald Trump was running for president for the first time. A protester rushed the stage, but was taken down by Secret Service. That 32-year-old was charged with disorderly conduct and inducing panic. Our coverage is going to continue here throughout this newscast and once it ends on 13abc.com. And, of course, the very latest information coming your way tomorrow morning starting at 6 a.m. We have multiple stories up online, including more reaction coming locally and nationally to this. We'll get back to that later in the broadcast, but I first want to get a check on the